behind me, those idolatrous dogs. Now, I'm sure you are sick of people who think like the people talked about in this book. And by now, you agree with me about this book, especially the last paragraph of page 11. Keep in mind that it took me many years to cultivate martial arts excellence to the point where I can kill any man. The strongest man in the world I would kill in less than a few seconds, you know. He'd either be dead or on his way to dying and neutralized. Mastery in either art could bring a skilled practitioner respect for his graceful execution, the admiration of potential wives, and economic advancement. Each art provided a path of spiritual development that could take an exceptional adept to one of the highest forms of honor in Africa, the status of a transcendent hero. Someone, okay. Now that we've established that, I hope you enjoy these martial art clips. Um, today I was drugged a little bit less. I went shopping today and um, they weren't able to really drug the food that I've consumed. And as a result, I performed about as well as I have in that one clip I bring up from 2015 where I do that one um, punch, which is super fast, that I've compared um, to Bruce Lee's punches, his fastest punches. And that punch is just as fast as his fastest punches. So, yes, I'm the top martial artist in America. I'm being persecuted for my political views, especially by gays, atheists, feminists, and Satanists who believe in the sort of scientific Satanism that allows women to be elevated beyond their natural worth, that allows gays to have respect in a society that historically has no love for them and looks down on them and allow Satanists to be accepted into mainstream society, including pedophilia, human trafficking, mass drugging, and other despicable forms of immorality. Thank you. Even if you magically don't think that they're drugging my food at all, you still have to admit that I have that interview with that one female that says, where she says she was told to provoke me to get me involuntarily admitted. That is covert drugging in a roundabout fashion because they're covertly setting the stage for me to be drugged, which affects my martial arts. And historically, if one, if a woman is wise enough, which she's probably not, to know what being an African of any race is about, we are all African, mind you, and to Give me her admiration for my graceful execution, which they are preventing me from having, thus violating my religious, cultural, and human rights and freedoms. Not to mention by lying to society about what we should respect in people and what we shouldn't, denying me the admiration of potential wise and economic advancement, which I care not about. But there's one thing these lowly pencil dick magic car fucking Ouija board pussies can never deny me those idolatrous dogs. And that is the status of a transcendent hero in the eyes of God and the heavens.